Okay. Here's my car. Parked in a disabled spot. This is a loading and unloading zone for a wheelchair user. Here's this car parked in it. Then, we're gonna wheel over that, and there, in between this car, is the curb cut. Here is more of a loading, unloading zone. And then here is another accessible spot. If somebody with a van were to pull up right now and try to park here, they could not get their ramp out because these two yahoos decided to park in the loading and unloading zone. The white car is currently blocking me from getting my wheelchair assembled without taking their mirror off. I'm not supposed to. Is this one of your cars? Yeah. Okay. No, no, they are actually, this um, car, the white car is blocking me from getting my wheelchair completely assembled because they blocked the loading unloading zone. This is very inconsiderate and I'm gonna leave a note on the cars yeah, as well. So, my current situation, my door is on their mirror. I have some room to get my wheelchair apart, so we are gonna try it. All right. Can I put this here? 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 Okay. Right. Let's take that down. We don't need that right now. Like, it's like people think that the white lines, like, what do you think the white lines are there for? Are they just there just to be there? Does it take up more room and take away parking spots? Are the white lines just so they could practice their art skills in drawing a straight line when they're making a parking lot? No. The white lines are loading, unloading zone for wheelchair users so they can be independent and live the life they want to live and go out and do things. And people like this take away a wheelchair user's independence. I'm done.